Yeah, open theism, or I call it open and relational theology, uh, comes in a variety of forms. Uh, people who come to open theism typically come from four tracks. Some people, it's their reading of scripture and what some of the things in the Bible say about God apparently not knowing what's going to happen that really draws them to open theism. Others come to open theism from theological traditions. Maybe they're in a tradition that emphasizes free will, and uh, that seems to make a lot of sense in terms of open theology. Then, of course, there are philosophers who wrestle with the question of God's relation to time time and whether or not it makes any sense to say that creatures are free if in fact God foreknows what's going to happen. And then the fourth category, perhaps best exemplified by John Polkinghorne, are those scientists who look at the nature of reality and then try to think about God in relation to the, the science, scientific world and find open theism tr attractive. Uh, for me, all of those are important. Um, my doctrine of God, because it is a doctrine of love and because I think creatures, at least complex creatures, are free, I think it makes the most sense to say that God is a time-full God instead of a timeless God, that God is part of the ongoing movement of time rather than sitting outside of time.